The Battle of Waterloo was fought on Sunday the 18th of June 1815, near Waterloo in the United Kingdom of the Netherlands, now in Belgium. A French army under the command of Napoleon was defeated by two of the armies of the Seventh Coalition. One was a British-led coalition consisting of units from the United Kingdom, the Netherlands, Hanover, Brunswick, and Nassau, under the command of the Duke of Wellington referred to by many authors as the Anglo-Allied Army or Wellington's Army. The other was a larger Prussian army under the command of Field Marshal von Blücher also referred to as Blücher's Army. The battle marked the end of the Napoleonic Wars. The battle was contemporaneously known as the Battle of Mont Saint Jean, France, or La Belle Alliance, the Beautiful Alliance, Prussia. Upon Napoleon's return to power in March 1815, many states that had previously opposed him formed the Seventh Coalition, while hurriedly mobilizing their armies. Wellington and Blücher's armies were cantoned close to the northeastern border of France. Napoleon planned to attack them separately in the hope of destroying them before they could join in a coordinated invasion of France with other members of the coalition. On the 16th of June, Napoleon successfully attacked the bulk of the Prussian army at the Battle of Ligny with his main force, causing the Prussians to withdraw northwards on the 17th of June, but parallel to Wellington and in good order. Napoleon sent a third of his forces to pursue the Prussians which resulted in the separate battle of Wavre with the Prussian rear guard on the 18th to the 19th of June and prevented that French force from participating at Waterloo also on the 16th of June a small portion of the French army contested the battle of Quatre Bras with the Anglo Allied army the Anglo Allied army held their ground on the 16th of June but the withdrawal of the Prussians caused Wellington to withdraw north to Waterloo on 17 June Upon learning that the Prussian army was able to support him, Wellington decided to offer battle on the Mont Saint Jean escarpment across the Brussels road near the village of Waterloo. Here he withstood repeated attacks by the French throughout the afternoon of the 18th of June, aided by the progressively arriving Prussians who attacked the French flank and inflicted heavy casualties. In the evening, Napoleon assaulted the Anglo-Allied line with his last reserves, the senior infantry battalions of the Imperial Guard. With the Prussians breaking through on the French right flank, the Anglo-Allied army repulsed the Imperial Guard, and the French army was routed. Waterloo was the decisive engagement of the Waterloo campaign in Napoleon's last. According to Wellington, the battle was the nearest run thing you ever saw in your life. Napoleon abdicated four days later, and coalition forces entered Paris on the 7th of July. The defeat at Waterloo ended Napoleon's rule as emperor of the French and marked the end of his hundred. Days return from exile. This ended the first French empire and set a chronological milestone between serial European wars and decades of relative peace, often referred to as the Pax Britannica. The battlefield is located in the Belgian municipalities of Brain, Lalud, and Lisney, about 15 kilometers (9.3 miles) south of Brussels. and about 2 kilometers 1.2 miles from the town of Waterloo the site of the battlefield today is dominated by the monument of the lion's mount a large artificial hill constructed from earth taken from the battlefield itself the topography of the battlefield near the mount has not been preserved direction the prussians had taken and the vagueness of the orders given to him meant that grouchy was too late to prevent the prussian army reaching wavre from where it could march to support wellington no importantly the heavily outnumbered prussian rear guard was able to use the river dal to enable a savage and prolonged action to delay grouchy as 17 june drew to a close wellington's army had arrived at its position at waterloo with the main body of napoleon's army following mutchel's army was gathering in and around wavre around 8 miles 13 kilometers to the east of the town Early on the morning of the 18th, Wellington received an assurance from Blücher that the Prussian army would support him. He decided to hold his ground and give battle. Waterloo proved a decisive battle in more than one sense. Each generation in Europe up to the outbreak of the First World War looked back at Waterloo as the turning point that dictated the course of subsequent world history, seeing it in retrospect as the event that ushered in the concept of Europe. An era characterized by relative peace, 
material prosperity and technological progress, the battle definitively ended the series of wars that had convulsed Europe and involved other regions of the world since the French Revolution of the early 1790s. It also ended the First French Empire and the political and military career of Napoleon Bonaparte, one of the greatest commanders and statesmen in history. There followed almost four decades of international peace in Europe. No further major international conflict occurred until the Crimean War of 1853-1856. Changes to the configuration of European states, as refashioned in the aftermath of Waterloo, included the formation of the Holy Alliance of Reactionary Governments intent on repressing revolutionary and democratic ideas, and the reshaping of the former Holy Roman Empire into a German confederation increasingly marked by the political dominance of Prussia. The bicentenary of Waterloo prompted renewed attention to the geopolitical and economic legacy of the battle into the century of relative transatlantic peace which followed.